Okay, last time you well, last time we've already finished the day scene. Now I want to change it into a night scene and then add a set of light bulb in it. So I go back to our 3D, 3D, 3D cinemas. I change it back to perspective and turn off the show scene frame so that I can see more. I delete the sky and uh, the skylight, and also I change my renderer into Arnold. Because we use Arnold to create a light night scene, and also I go to environment, right click to clear the background picture, click it again to apply a new one because I have a new background, uh, a back picture as a night scene. Okay, which is in 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 dark blue with some some cloud on it. Okay. Okay, what we need to do is to apply a set of light bulb right here. Um, I don't, I'm not going to create a light bulb model with you. Um, you can do it yourself. I already, okay, maybe let you have a look. I already create one. Um, in a separate file, you can easily use love as same as your tree to love a light bulb like this. Okay. I merge it into my scene and then I use middle mouse to click my perspective view click that to help me zoom in okay this is my light bulb is that to zoom in okay I'm not I'm not going to model it with you guys um, you have to do it yourself I press F4 to let you see the outlook of it um, I open the group and select the bottom part you see I use live to to create if I turn it off it's just a simple spline like this okay and then I close the group okay what I have to do is to create a spline from my building and to the top of my tree so I go to snap toggle right click uh, by default uh, it's uh, the tools will help you stick to the grid pose only. I also turn on vertex so that after I turn on the snapping, the computer will help me snap to some vertex of my 3D models. Okay, I turn it on and then go to spy line and then click the corner of my building and also Like the top of my tree, right click to finish my spline. Um, you see, um, which is a 3D object, a 3D light, because I've turned on and able in render and 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 able in viewport. I go to modify a light vertex. Select this vertex. I turn off snapping. Right click, easier. This one. Right click, easier. And then I can find the handle. I go to from view okay I can move move it a bit downward move it a bit downward okay after I finish click it to turn it off and then select my light bulb use tools align spacing to take path click this display um select the number of light bulb you want and also you can click follow to uh, let them have some um some direction changes and i want to mention about the starting offset offset and also the end offset but default which is zero that means um the light bulb will stick at the starting point and also the end point of your your supply you can increase this number so that to give you some margin your light bulb won't be stick at the starting point and also won't stick at the ending point of your spline okay finish and then I click apply okay for the original one if you don't need it you can just hide it or delete it finally I want to set up a um, material with you guys I go to material editor and then R on standard surface I drag one of it drag, drag two out one two and then one is in green and one is in red in V 
information I need. Actually, I don't know the value. You can try it. I use control to help me select multiple objects. Open a group. Control to help me. I alt again to help you. Alt, alt button to help you deselect some of it. Okay, this is the green one. Also, um, you can create a gray one to help you um change the color of the, the top part and also the wire. I mean the color. Okay, cancel. How about what happened? You see a material with the same name and rename it, okay? Because I didn't rename the object. Okay, the final need I select this line, enable in render, enable before will in will pop. Give a light to my scene. Arnold and I just simple kick. You can change the intensity and also the color of your light. Okay, let me try. It's already been grow. Um, if you don't want to see the reflection on the ground, you have to create a material for your ground. So I stop the renderer. Go to material editor. Then the surface. I use dropper to drop the color of the ground. Okay, and apply this new material to it. Run it again. So, and then I go to material editor. Uh, remember to turn off the specular to give it a zero. Okay, there's no reflection now. Okay, what I want to introduce to you guys is uh, in the render uh, on a render view. Uh, normally, your view should be like this. If you click this gear, you will find there's a panel open right here. You can add a lens effect. Um, that's different kinds of lens effect you can try. Okay, I just give a strength to it. You see, it will be grow. Um, I don't want to try the numbers with you again. You can experience it. Um, try to, uh, try to update this number and also the intensity of your light and also the emission. The emission value of your your light bulb to um have a better effect. Uh, after you finish everything, please uh save this file, save image, and uh, save it to the render output and uh, submit the whole project to Moodle. Thank you.